In this video what you're gonna hear are all the easter eggs from Final Nights at Freddy's. I mean everything from all these games over here. Let's just start. Five Nights at Freddy's 1 So obviously Five Nights at Freddy's 1 is the first game of the series. The easter eggs on this game were never supposed to have a big meaning into the story. Scott Cawthon confirmed that his intentions were to add something more than gameplay just in case it would get popular. And it did, right? Here is where the lore of the series started. Right into the camera 4B, if you check it out there is a poster inside there. That poster sometimes turned into 4 pieces of newspaper. This newspaper contains a lot of information of what happened behind Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm not getting into details about the lore right now. Uh, you could pause it and read everything of what happened in the pizzeria. Now your question might probably be, who is replacing all the newspaper in the room? Well, the answer is simple, no one. It is an easter egg. That might be your first thought, but if we move forward on camera 4A, there is another replacement which rarely happens in the game. Occasionally, the normal posters on this room are replacing with a few drawings of kids who most likely looks like they are crying. Now these kids are obviously the victims of the pizzeria and the souls who are possessing Freddy, Bonnie, Chica and Foxy. If we supposed to make a theory they could be the ones who are either replacing the posters in the rooms or either creating hallucinations to the player. The next easter egg is located in the camera 2B on the Freddy's poster. Sometimes we could easily spot the change of the image where Freddy looks like he's twisting his head. It is a cool shot indeed. What is the meaning of this though? Most likely to show that Freddy is just not a simple possessed animatronic and it could be very dangerous. The next one is right when you open the game. Now this is very very rare. What happens exactly is when you double click FNAF you could see Bunny. But he doesn't look very normal. It is a creepy image of him staring at you. And it is eyeless for a moment. But then it opens his eyes. And it is scary. You could have a lot of nightmares from this. Moving forward, we got the motto of the game. It is called, It's Me. A simple but obscure writing which appears in three directions. First one is from the hallucinations of the animatronics which could easily creep you out. Second one is from the posters of the crying children. And the third one is from the pirate cove of Foxy where it is replaced. Now of course, this is the motto of the game and later on is very important to the lore. I saved the best for last. We are returning back to camera 2B. Right here sometimes you could easily see this poster changing with Golden Freddy, firstly called Yellow Bear. If this poster changes, you are done. After you switch back to the office, then you see it. It's right there, Golden Freddy with Janskir C. There is another easter egg related to Golden Freddy, but this one is proven to work on version 113 of the game. Basically, if you go down to custom night and change the numbers 1, night, 8, 7, you got a chance to see Golden Freddy jump scaring you. And finally, let's talk about the cheating. Too hard to pass the night? Don't worry, I got you my man. Go on the keyboard and press C, D and plus. Then, boo, you pass the night and you could literally just finish the game in one minute. Hey, 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 I'm not the one who told you this, okay? Just relax, brother. Five Nights at Freddy's 2 We are going to start with something sophisticated which right now it is still unsolved. We are talking here about this easter egg of a character who is called Shadow Bunny. Originally named R-W-Q-F-C-F-X-C-R-R, -C -C Shadow Bunny rarely appears in FNAF 2. And when it does, things get spooky. You could easily spot him right into the corner of the office. A very tall posture is right there staring at you and suddenly it makes your game crash. Obviously, we also got another version called Shadow Freddy. Located in camera 08, sometimes he is down there, moveless. He is not very scary as Shadow Bunny, but it's still a mystery what it is. 
I still never heard a valid theory about these two figures. However, I will make a special video about Shadow Bunny, so stay tuned. The next easter egg is so undisclosed that even if you encounter it, there are high chances to miss it. It happens right into the office and is just a small face. A face which is the female version of Balloon Boy and it is called JJ. Along the story, JJ has not been a high-like character, but back then she was very mysterious for the players. If you thought we were done with the characters, then we got more. And one interesting character from this series is Endoskeleton. There are two ways to spot him. One is a rarely chance in the camera 05, aka the left hand, and the other option is camera 11. In the camera 11 you could have the chance to invoke him. What you gotta do is to do not wind up the music box, let it turn down and just keep watching on camera 11. Then you will see it right there. Who is Endoskeleton? Again, not an important character to the story, but he looks pretty interesting though. Speaking about Marionette, there is a simple trick which is similar with the last before. There is an easter egg of Marionette where it appears right on camera 7. To make this easter egg work, do not wind up the music box anymore and check camera 7. It is hard to spot it, but if you record it and then use slow motion, you could see it right there. Now the next easter eggs are the same as FNAF 1. Two rare screens are sometimes randomly appearing in the game, such as Foxy staring in the camera or Eyeless Toy Bunny. It is a creepy screen if it takes you unexpectedly. And not lastly, don't tell your parents that I teach you this, but uh, if you think that FNAF 2 is too hard, then I got uh, more cheats for you. Come on, don't worry, we're gonna trade this. So let me tell you the secret, okay? Just go and hold the uh, Freddy's nose and then uh, just use CD and plus, then you pass the night, come on to it, you didn't hear this from me, alright buddy, it's okay, never, never, you never heard this from me, never. Five Nights at Freddy's Free Sometimes it is rarely possible to see a custom in the left of the office. It looks like Freddy of course, but the color is unknown. Some might say it is Golden Freddy, others that is Shadow Freddy, others say it is Purple Freddy. I'm not going to make assumptions here, however, for the sake of the lore, I believe this is most likely Golden Freddy. The posters in FNAF 3 are also changing. We got the plush spring body in camera 10, or the papal children which sometimes appears in the office. And of course, how could we miss the unique spring trap shots which sometimes they appear right when you open the game. It has 3 shots and in all of them we got the scene of spring failure which happens in a minigame. However, we're not gonna pass out without mentioning the ending with the newspaper. If you use a little bit of brightness here and there, you could spot it. Springtrap is still there, alive. This was a huge hype for FNAF 3 back then, and later on he still appeared in Five Nights at Freddy's 6. I always come back. But anyway, FNAF 3 is that kind of game which has lots of secrets in order to finish it with a good ending. And of course, I'm not gonna explain in this video how to start the minigames. If you wish a separate video on how to find all the minigames in FNAF 3 and how to beat them in order to get a good ending, write down in the comments. Five Nights at Freddy's 4 it has this kind of thing where easter eggs are easy to be spotted and understand it. First of all, we got two things which sometimes we could see it behind our bed and these are a hospital thing, I don't know how he's called it, and a bouquet of flowers sitting right to him. It is understandable that this kid is in a dream and right there he is sitting in a hospital. Then in the room we sometimes could hear the phone call of Nef1 night on but reversed. Yeah. 
We also got purple guy in a room managing businesses and dressing an employee into spring bunny. Obviously, Scotty boy tried to make his fans believe he was still alive. And of course, when you are in the house, if you walk directly to the TV, you could see a commercial of the Freddy Pizzeria. Not many easter eggs on this game, but um, it could represent the last chapter of NAF 4, which means Scott just wanted to finish everything related to Final Fantasy Freddy's on this game. 5 Nights at Freddy's Sister Location has a few easter eggs and I'm going to start with the most relevant ones. First one is Ennard's voice saying a few words there. This is originally heard from Ballora, but is definitely the original voice of Ennard. The second easter egg is from Baby's minigame. This is only is actually containing a clue to the lore of what happened with the daughter of William Afton. It's basically playing as Baby in a minigame. You have to follow a routine, then go back where you begin. Then this happens. It looks pretty terrifying. And the third easter egg based on the lore it is located in the hidden office. To access it, firstly you have to figure it out the minigame from before. Then after this cutscene where baby tells you to go to the scooping room, you obey her orders and just press WD shift. Then suddenly you will hear access granted and you will get it. Then you will get inside this office and see the three monitors plus a keypad. What you gotta do is write on the keypad 9043. You could see it right there. The house of Five Nights at Freddy's 4. This means the game is just uh, connected with the previous one. And this is also confirmed by other things such as the blueprint house which you later will find it in the game. So basically the place of sister location is located below the Five Nights at Freddy's 4 house which is really incredible. The following easter eggs are just normal things to be spotted, nothing related to the story though. They are fascinating as long as you are an easter egg hunter. If you really love this kind of things you might check it out, find out this location again and see if you will ever spot it. Five Nights at Freddy's Pizzeria Simulator slash Five Nights at Freddy's 6 There are no many easter eggs here than the ones from the arcade machines. Basically each arcade machine has a minigame which after you keep doing progress after progress at the end will tell you something more about the lore. The first minigame is called Midnight Autorist. You gotta play the minigame and at the fourth lap you have to be careful to drive to the opposite road and at some point you have to turn right. Then there is the minigame starting. Basically from here you have to discover yourself what's going on. MadPat tried his best to explain this minigame, but in all kind of perspectives it still doesn't make sense. Such as who is the yellow guy, what is Junior, why is the FNAF 4 house so small, what, who is the grandma sitting. You could argue with me in the comments, but it still doesn't make so much sense with the Five Nights at Freddy's 4 events. But anyway, moving on to the next arcade machine we got Fruity Maze. Now this is a mini game with a girl where she has to collect different objects in a labyrinth. You have to beat the game like 2 or 3 times until you will see a deceased puppy and also Springtrap appearing on the screen. Now here it seems like William often is trying to convince the girl that her dog is still alive. This might be an easter egg showing the born of an animatronic. The universal theory about the dog is related with Mangle. The last minigame is very obvious. You have to play for the third time to see what happened with Marionette and how he was possessed by a girl. Nothing to be a secret, but on the later part there is something interesting. If you check that out using a little bit of quickness effect you could see it. 
There is a car trace back in the alley. The person who killed the girl ran away with a car from the back alley. Now what does it mean? This minigame is connected with the Midnight Motorist. And this is not just a theory, it's a proof. In the game files this minigame is actually called Later That Night. If you got the question what night, it is this. And I could easily confirm it by the way it is raining. Very, very interesting fact. Ultimate Custom Night, or maybe Five Nights at Freddy's 7. <laughs> so, we are at the next game. It is not called Five Nights at Freddy's 7 though, but let me remind you a thing. In each game, Scott Carlton will always add something to the lore. And so we have it in Ultimate Custom Night. The first one is a cutscene from Old Man Consequences. What you gotta do to obtain it is to set these dudes to 1 and then press C on the screen when you encounter it. After that, this happens. A portal opens where an endless vacuum absorbs you to this guy, Old Man Consequences. What is basically telling to Golden Freddy is to move on and let William after burn in hell. And then he leaves. But that's not all. On the background there is a sound effect, and thanks for the community who edited, you could hear this. It is up to you to decide what he is saying, but what I basically hear is I hate Mike. It is very creepy, but in the meantime, very interesting to still hear William Afton. And then that's not all. Let's say you finish this mini game, and meanwhile in your computer you have FNAF World installed. Well, what happens is if you open FNAF World after this, then you would see it. That thing. See? It is a prize. A prize which doesn't have anything to do with FNAF World. Are these games connected? Of course they are, because the easter eggs are just coming from that game to this game. The next easter egg is a little bit creepy and you could see it through the game. It is about this child face, and Scott Cotton confirmed that it's a photo of his son. But in the game it means the face of Golden Freddy which haunts us. Same as the last cutscene after we beat the game. This is Golden Freddy and it shows he cannot rest, he is still there wanting revenge. But speaking about Golden Freddy, there is something interesting which you could do with it. Same as Old Man Consequences, you have to set him to 1. Then when you are in the game you have to collect 10 coins and after that you have to buy a dead coin. Then switch the camera up and down in the office while you see Golden Freddy. When you see Golden Freddy, press the death coin and then boom. Who jump scares you? This is Fredbear. The animatronic Fredbear, which was a big mystery in Final Fantasy Freddy's 4, has his own jump scare now. Is he related to Golden Freddy? Are they the same? Probably not. I believe this is just an easter egg. Next ones are really only just a few small easter eggs, which most of them are related to the FNAF world. They are there to impress the old fanbase and I believe they are pretty amazing. Five Nights at Freddy's VR Help Wanted So we're done, right now we are at the most difficult game to play. What do I mean by this? It's either first of all you need a good computer and second of all you need a VR. I think the old fanbase doesn't have this kind of things. The entire game is not dedicated for everyone from the old FNAF fanbase. This game is more dedicated to a new open fanbase because it doesn't require you to know more from the old story. But does it have easter eggs? Even if Scott Couto didn't make this game by himself, he directed the team to add them. So let's just see. The first one I want to discuss is about glitch trap sounds. Same as Ultimate Custom Night, this sound is encoded with a script. Thanks again for the fanbase, this sounds like... Yep, 
It's a female voice and it's probably the voice from the Halloween DLC which we hear from this so-called follower. What I mean about this female is uh, at the end of the DLC, The Curse of Fredbear, there is a secret mask which you can find it. Well, when you're gonna use it, you're gonna hear this voice. Yes, I hear you. I know. No. There's no miscommunication. I understand. Yes, I have it. I made it myself. I think you would like it. No, no one suspects anything. Don't worry. I'll be ready. And I won't let you down. It will be fun. <laughs> what this means is that we, as the player, controlled the new antagonist of the FNAF VR. We played as the antagonist for the entire Five Nights at Freddy's VR. We, as the protagonists, are in the meantime the antagonist of this game. A follower which gets instructions from Glitch Trap and is ready to go out in the world. Really, really creepy. The hype is real for the next Five Nights at Freddy's. Then, uh, let's make a recap of the next easter eggs which are probably more dedicated to the old fanbase. Kind of a nostalgia to remind everyone where FNAF started and uh, what was so interesting about it. We got Helpy behind the monitor. We also got uh, Endo 2 appearing in the FNAF 2 office. Minarina in the plush trap game. White Red Bon Bon somewhere in the game. We also got Coffee Machine in Finance at Freddy's free office and uh, probably at the corner price. Beauty Dab in Circus Baby level. You could actually feed Chica pizza and uh, she actually eats it. But anyway, I'm gonna say it, the hype of the next Finance at Freddy's is very real. And uh, you see, we got a new direction to the story. We're not going straight here, where everything was related to William Afton, his past and uh, everything. We are done here. Right now in this kind of direction, where we still got the genius antagonist, William Afton, but uh, he's controlling someone and uh, William Afton is now looking straight to the future. He's gonna give information to other, other followers. This is the new teaser of the new game. It's um, pretty interesting and right there we also see the follower with the mask. She's gonna be in that game. This game will release in uh, 2020. All right, lads, we are two years later after the video you have just seen. Right now, Financial Freddy Security Breach has been released. We are checking the Easter eggs together. And uh, where I made this video, all Easter eggs was Snap Security Breach. I'll explain to you what's going on. So, this is a part of the game where there is Afton family. And right here we got uh, these five characters, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, they are five. Uh, they look like robots. And uh, they are an easter egg to find out at Freddy's uh, 4. This should uh, look like the bite victim because he doesn't have his head. Alright. So practically the next one is uh, Michael Afton, which is this guy over here. We played the uh, FNAF Security Breach with him. And then we got Elizabeth Afton, which... Definitely looks like, um, how do you call it, baby, yeah, alright, and uh, this one looks like Ballora, so we might think that uh, Ballora from FNAF Security Bridge might be designed based on the look of uh, Afton's wife, okay, she looks very similar. And uh, like I said, yeah, she looks like Ballora, and this is William Afton, <laughs> the lad is wearing a hat, big hat. <laughs> so, right now we are in daycare, and uh, after we we left, leave the daycare, we can see that we get banned, we cannot enter anymore, because this guy comes, son comes right here, and uh, he doesn't want us to enter in the area, right? Very, very bad. And right here we got a small easter egg of uh, the room from FNAF VR Curse of Dreadbear. 
just as a nostalgic area, so we can feel um, interested about. And uh, here we got the sister location secret room, which is really nice. That uh, this is very nostalgic to see. The room design looks like um, the one from the uh, FNAF security bridge, and um, obviously we got the TV, the lamp, and everything over there. And um, we got also this 16 CDs that we could find. And in, in these 16 CDs, CDs we talk about uh, the, the, there is the, these therapists talking with um, Vanessa and supposedly other persons, we don't know for sure. Um, and they are talking about the therapy and all of this, but it only leads to something that we might find hey, Vanessa is uh, killing his therapist. And, ha, 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 ha. So we don't know for sure yet. So, here we got a bacteria of the old FNAF animatronics. They made some kind of bacteria in the facility where they grew like this. It looks very disgusting. So we got Funtime Freddy, Chica, and uh, Bonnie. This kind of, of animatronics trying to get revenge. And obviously, Springtrap is an iconic character in the FNAF series. So I'm very glad they brought him back. Um, we could enter the Springtrap room right here. And you see how Springtrap looks like. Very, very different. Crazy perspective. Then we got a secret room about a massive lore. Uh, this is where daycare, sun, moon, whatever we want to call it, drop down. So it's kind of interesting. Practically, we, we find a lot of stuff in this room. Uh, and uh, obviously, yeah, it seems like a kid has lived here. And not only a kid, but the other employee as well. You see all of these shirts on the wall. And this game, arcade, it's kind of interesting to understand what happened here, but um, thing is, yeah, we got these t-shirts of adults, so we know that someone has been living here, tried to do something, we got books and magazines, they wanted to take their time, and this is a custom of Glenn of Freddy, and it's an adult custom, see, it's a... Uh, Kind of huh, sketchy, because there is possible another character that is gonna come uh, in the future updates, patches, how do you call it, DLC, yeah. And uh, we got schedule import pending 6 a.m. It's uh, an adult's hand writing, which is uh, kind of interesting, right? <coughs> and of course parts of the robots and here we collect uh, something here he's gonna collect the thing so in this section we got a message talking about exit interview so they are working together who is working together the arcades Yes, they are working together, they are hiding something. The glitches, glitch them all at the same time, then the priestess will recognize me. So, they are referring right here to the princess game. In the princess game, uh, princess quest, there are free arcades. In these free arcades, you could um, practically try to get this secret ending where Vanessa is no longer, Vanessa Veni is no longer possessed by the sick mind of William Afton slash Springtrap slash Glitchtrap. So, she's testing me. I am not yet worthy. The others are protecting it. Let me stay. I'm so close. Just one more night, please. I can save the princess. All right. Um, 
this sounds like a very simp way to say it, <laughs> but the uh, thing is, this is some kind of employee, and I'm wondering who is this employee, because this cannot be Gregory, okay? So it's a random employee. So moving forward from this uh, um, thing, come on, <laughs> trying to get uh, this more. Because I, <coughs> I, I recorded this message a lot, and I remember. So, we got more fuck, uh, things, pencil used by kid, which we might think that... Uh, oh, these are Gregory's shoes, by the way. They are wearing it at the same time somewhere in the uh, photo. We can see that he's wearing these shoes. So, Gregory has lived here as well since he's orphan. He uh, has lived in this room. And uh, I don't know why he always tried to do sheets where they slept. Yep, yes, sir. And uh, yeah, what else can I tell you about this room? Come on, man, load the fucking game. I cannot load it anymore. What is wrong with you? Oh my god. Alright, we got this. Glasses that are from an adult. He is drowned by sound. He is drowned to sound. We got this reference, I forgot from where. Then we got this drawing kids and this is Gregory. He draw himself with Freddy. So Gregory is a lonely person who just wanted a friend and he found Freddy as a friend. Then we got the arcade machine as and in this uh, arcade machine, we got a um, glitch trap inside. Uh, <laughs> so, speaking about glitch trap, I see that my video is glitched as well. <laughs> oh my god. So here we got glitch trap that glitched my video as well. And uh, the sun just suddenly comes close. Like, yeah. Then we got outside. What is outside? It is designed outside to have this big place so this complex is a mall it's a big mall we got this thing um very very big very very big very scary to be honest because it's so big so we might expect a dlc next in the future where it could be also day to see more about this mall on the pizza complex, pizza complex, all, all you call it. We got gate one here, we got um, a room of um, guardians, so that we could expect more security guards, there's just only one. So, yeah, here we can see that the trees are looking very weird. But guys, that's all mostly what uh, I could tell you about uh, the easter eggs so far, because um, they need to make more updates about the DLC, so stay tuned by subscribing and pressing a like to this video to motivate me more talking about Finance and Freddy's Security Breach. Thank you for watching on this massive big video, and I hope you have an excellent, beautiful day. Love you and see you.